Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page eight. Page eight. So we have uh, two large flaps. They are seven inches by four inches, seven by four, and you're going to score a half inch on the seven inch side. And they're going to be applied on the bottom. And what I've done is I've come in and, and part of the reason I, I came in uh, from the side on both sides is to um, prevent any interference with the spine because this is kind of a long flap and the spine's going to be actually on this side. Is that right? No, it's going to be on this side. And I, I just didn't want to risk having part of this get stuck in the hinge when you're opening and closing the page the page in the book, not just the flaps here. So you're gonna come in 3 eighths of an inch on both sides. And again, these flaps are seven by four, score so half inch on the seven inch side. Okay. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing. Oops, I don't need a pencil over here. Again, you're coming in from the edge, three eighths of an inch. There we go. Looks pretty darn good. Now we're gonna do the top down, and these are four by four. You're gonna score a half inch on the four inch side. And these are gonna come top down. And I've used the um, corner chomper, and I used the stub side actually on both the bottom top and bottom flaps now when we go to insert or install this I didn't do any marks what I really want to do is line it up with the flap below it because that's what your your eyes gonna get drawn to um, whether or not these are aligned not so much the straightness of the line but if it matches what's below it um, it'll create that visual straight line that you're looking for so I'm only applying one tip of the of the hinge here and kind of using it as a pivot point to line up with the flat below. Now I want to line off of the inside because that is where I think your eye is going to get drawn to. So if, there, if you've got it and it's slightly off, I think I really would rather have it on the outside than the inside. Hopefully that makes sense. Turns out they are perfectly aligned, but that's not always the case. Some, it could be off, you know, like a 32nd of an inch. It's not going to be much, but if it's off more than that, I generally take it off and reinstall it. Um, having clean lines goes a long way to making your work look very polished. Okay. Now we're on to the simple stuff. We're just going to add some magnets to keep these closed. And I'm going to draw a quick reference line on both of these. I'm holding everything flat. This is getting hung up a little bit on the um, hinge here, so I just want to make sure it's flat. I'm going to draw a reference line. And then I want to make sure that wherever I place my magnet, you know, it's uh, far enough away from this line, meaning that it won't be too close to this line or to the edge. Hopefully that makes sense. So I know, since this is the bottom of the flap, I know I need to be in at least a half inch. So I'm gonna move in a half inch and then apply it. Let me get my fat tape. And of course, more than a half inch is fine. Bye. That's my son taking off for the day. Presumably to go see his girlfriend. And then he has to work tonight. Which I hate that he has to work nights, but it's part of being part of your first job. Okay, so we're almost done here, and then of course we get to do the exciting stuff, which is add the beautiful pages. Okay.
Isn't that neat? And then they look sort of like these two um, envelopes side by side. Now I'm going to check that one more time because it seemed like it didn't want to lay down flat. I think something's wrong. Something's wrong. I think I need to, I think because there's this half inch, where's my, because of this half inch hinge here, this is getting hung up on it. Um, so I want to make sure it's over that when I place my magnet and then, uh, and by holding it securely and then coming down, I think I'll be okay. So I'm just going to start over. No big deal. I don't really want it to have that look of bubble on it. So I'm going to hold everything secure. And again, make sure I'm pushing it so that it's over the hinge. And we'll do it one more time. Okay, let's make sure it's over. Okay. And now the other thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and burnish all the way down. Much better. Yeah, much better. To make sure everything is where it needs to be. Okay, that's page eight. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page eight. Page eight. And I have most of it laid out, but there's going to be a couple of pieces that need to be trimmed because we're doing some color blocking on this page. Okay, so I need to verify this. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. <clears throat> and so I took one piece, uh, one continuous piece, and sliced it in half. I did the same thing on page one, different pattern, but same thing on page one. So let's get started with the pieces that are ready. <clears throat> hope everybody's doing well it's another warm day here in San Diego <clears throat> oh, I'm going to stick this under real quick so I can see my edges and that looks good okay do the same thing over here so I can see the edges. So I sent um, an email out, I think about a week ago, maybe less. Anyways, I just want to quickly remind you guys that... Um, to sock up on your art glitter glue because once uh, temperatures dip below 40 degrees, uh, we can't ship the glue because we can't guarantee the integrity of the glue. And that's per the manufacturer. So stock up while you can. We uh, just got an order in last week from art glitter. And so we've got a fair amount. The one thing we don't have is the two ounce bottles. And the reason we don't have the two ounce bottles is because the manufacturer didn't have the container. So um, we have, uh, I think, four, eight, and 16. And I don't know when they're going to get it back in. And, you know, furthermore, whether it's going to arrive, whether we can order it before the temperatures drop. Because they won't ship to us either. <clears throat> I can't see today. Uh, there we go. That helps. Now I can see the edges. <clears throat> All right. I can't remember if I was planning on using this here or if it's going here. I'll have to think about that, but we can work on the inside real quick. Okay, I just love this pagoda, and so I wanted to definitely feature it somewhere. It's from the 12x12 collection pack. There's another pattern over here, but I just wanted this piece. Uh, I trimmed it out, and it, it wound up being 
four and seven eighths, but really I just trimmed it to the image itself. And now I'm just going to center it here. And then we're going to trim down these two white uh, red strips to fit. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? I just think this is probably one of my favorite images. And that looks pretty centered. Okay, press that into place. Okay, now we're just going to trim these down to fit. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'll be right back after I turn these. Okay, and so I forgot to mention that um, these red strips are from the pattern pack, the 8x8 pattern, or background pack, sorry. I get the um, graphic terminology mixed up. <laughs> Patterns and solids, but this is what they call this the uh, backgrounds. <clears throat> this way so this was not exactly centered and I can tell because this was a little bit larger but visually I don't think you're going to be able to tell the difference looks good okay and that's why I didn't just measure one and cut two measure both sides just in case this wasn't perfectly centered Looks good. It's inked and we're ready to go. I think, yeah. So we're moving right along. So I really like the way the red comes out on both sides. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, now the next thing I need to figure out is where I was going with these two pieces. <clears throat> and I'm not sure. So I'm going to pause for a second and uh, figure this out. And then, of course, we still need to get the B side of the bottom flap. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, everyone, I'm back and I've got the rest of my papers laid out and ready to go. So th this image is from the 12 by 12 collection pack and it's it's actually um, a four inch strip uh, off the 12 by 12 that has the large um, Sir Vagabond image on it. Uh, let me show you what I mean. This one, and since I'm using two um, 12 by 12 packs, I could um, create this um, mirror image on the on both uh, on both flaps. Okay, looks like I've got everything inked and trimmed out right, so this should go pretty quickly. Okay.
Oh, I don't think I got enough sleep last night, guys. Or not enough good sleep, anyway. All right. Here we go. Too much glue. There we go. Much better. Good grief. I always have wet wipes handy, but... <clears throat> when I have excess glue and um, for some reason just now I couldn't get that darn thing open <clears throat> okay that's done so this is the last piece and I, I did plan these for here so I went ahead and trimmed them out but I forgot to ink them so we'll get that done and then uh, that is it for uh, page 8 so next time we get together, we'll be working on the cover and um, the inside, uh, inside and outside of the cover, and getting our pages installed. Mm. I always put a little bit of glue on my tape um, over the magnet because it gives me a little bit of time to adjust. Um, if if you just if it catches the tape right away, it's you can't nudge it. So that's what the glue is for. It'll just hold it off the tape long enough for us to get our placement right. I forgot to make it. Alrighty. Okay. This one is not cut very well. Oh, well, I can live with it, but the gap here is a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. They may have needed to go the other way around. Um, I should have dry fit it first, but it's okay. I can live with it. Um, it's straight. That's the most important thing in my mind. So that is page eight. Okay, next time we get together, we'll be working on the outside of the album. I'll be back soon.